Tell them confirmed. Yes, sir. Our men are on the way to Berlin. Are you listening? Her daughter is there. We will have her in a matter of hours. Keep me updated. Time to go. But yeah, she immediately responded like, yes, at least, yes, at least, yes, at least. I was like, okay, I know enough. Let me think about it. Like, no hesitate. I, I do. I always forget this. Always. Well, uh, I was like already sitting ready, you know, to show off. Be like, oh, you know, my big baby boom, like, belly ready, all the warfare ready, ready to rock and roll. Oh, as you can see, I'm wearing more martini humor. Like, it's like, I don't know why, but this, this little thing is like little flaps. I don't know if you can see it very well, but... Oh! There's not Baby Bump of Elise yet! The corrupt talk. No, you look like Baby Bump. My blue shirt below it, because this... I need the extra support. But... Yeah, as you can see... As I told you, I will do the whole rest of the series with my pregnant belly. And maybe future cuts, if I'm still pregnant by then. I will do like on Twitch with baby belly cam or yeah belly cam. <laughs> you know what I mean? Keyboard, keyboard belly cam. <laughs> Welcome to a new Modern Factory. The fire builds. Veteran campaign series. Everything in its path. This is a deliberate act of war against the United States. Our enemies believe that they alone dictate the course of history. That all it takes is the will of a single man or woman, man or woman, eh? Or not binary at this point. But you know, welcome back to the Modern Warfare 3 Federal Campaign series. If you haven't seen less episodes, I highly recommend you do. In that episode, we got bumped the shit hell out of a clock tower and had to run, 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 run. And so tight. So tight after three three series of Modern Warfare. They always survive, but not this time. We got some backstory in Yuri. So if you haven't watched that, make sure to check out on the outro playlist on the left after that. If you don't know me, I'm your pregnant trans girl, Elise, so... Maybe, hey, look, look, you can't deny, as you said, as, as I said, can't, oh, yeah, this is my, this is my machinery band of the, of my band, but you can't deny, as I said, that there is a bump, or I am pregnant, you can't deny this, here, and if, if you didn't see, but it's always there, like for some reason, uh, I don't know, this translates to this on screen, I don't know why, but, Anime form, I guess. But you're not here for talk, you're not here for things. Shirt good. Nice, lovely shirt. But the shirt is good. So let's start with our little campaign series where we left off this time. But yeah, I'm pregnant, so she's free. I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, trans girl release. There's a clock tower in Hereford. Where the names of the dead are inscribed we try to honor their deeds even as their faces fade from our memory those memories are all that's left when the bastards have taken everything else what happened he killed so he's gone mac what do you need from me son a location our russian says makarov used to cache weapons at an old castle near prague he's got nothing more solid than that can you trust him what choice do i have He's got his own reasons for wanting Makarov dead. Place ring any bells? Aye. We ran drones over a suspect castle back in Zakiev's day. But we never got wind of our targets visiting the area. What am I up against? The place is a fortress. Only one way in or out. Hmm. Unless you've learned to fly. Security office on the far side Help. of the compound. And a command center north of that. Both were heavily guarded. If Makarov's there, he'll be in that control room. What's this you're sending me? Equipment list. That's a lot of hardware, John. What you plan on doing? What you taught me to do? Kill them all. And burn everything to the ground. I'm gonna be a bit of a topic in this video because I need to get it off my mind. Maybe like, Elise, be like, be careful what you say and uh, what the things you say, but you know what's recently crossed my mind? I don't know why, but probably poly relationships. I don't know. Like, uh, any of us, like, at least the have a, uh, like, Get down. like, like, 
Ali have told me to recently, like, please, would she be open for a poly relationship? And I was like, I don't know. And you know why? Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to be like, like, of course, first thing, it's a weird question, like, you know, your girlfriend is pregnant, and you ask me this, but I don't know, like, something in me says, like, I should do it. I should do it, but now, now, like, the thing is, like, I probably wouldn't handle, like, less attention. Or something like. No, I don't. But like he asked me to like, what would I be open? So and it was like, I don't know, Elliot. I have to think about it, babe. Like. The first thing that came to mind when I asked him, but like, because the first thing that came to mind is like, okay, you want a poly relationship, but with who? Because you had to clearly someone in mind. It's like, no, I really don't have someone in mind. I just like, like I just like he just like told me that he just recently thought of like. Uh, having a second girlfriend with it since like he's like I thought like it looked fun to him to have a second girlfriend at least and I was like okay but I think I don't know it's how it's your guys across country but uh, I think Polly is like forbidden here, at least marrying more people than one, but I don't know, my ever since like he asked me like one day in bed and the whole Tuesday and Wednesday, I've, oh no it's not Tuesday, it was like yesterday. Like it was yesterday when he asked me in bed and I've been the whole day thinking about it. Like he told me, like, Elise, if we get a public relationship, nothing will change for you. You get an extra girlfriend. No need to pleasure someone else. No need to give someone else extra attention. You get the same amount of... Like, you get the same amount of attention. You know? So, basically, for me, there would be only a win. He said. But... I don't know, like... I had... Uh, other relationships before Elif. Where... Uh, the girls or guys said to me, like, at least I want a poly relationship. And I, I was like, no, I can't do this. But uh, uh, ever since, like, those those datings, the dates that I had with people, and they were like, uh, I want a poly relationship, would you, uh, like, would you too, at least? And they're like, no, I don't think you can handle it. And they, like, stopped calling me or went to date with me. I've always thought, like, it sounded interesting, you know. A poly relationship, like having an extra girlfriend, for example, that means that I would have a girlfriend and a boyfriend. But do you, do you like when this is called? Oh, I probably already have chosen. Like I probably already have chosen, but should I? Would you do it? Like if you were pregnant and you have a boyfriend. Like you would have a boyfriend that was like, uh, wants a poly relationship with you, which you accept. Like you're pregnant already and such stuff. Huh? Like the thing is like. Like, the thing is, I don't know if like, I'm ready for it, like, the thing which bothers me the most is like... Like, I'm already pregnant. Did you love me then? Like, you know?
So you're like needing you love me or something, but it's like I love you too, but just imagine the things we could do. And I was like, he dropped. Like he said he didn't know someone yet. He wanted to. Like he didn't know like if he wanted with someone, but he's like, we could take your like old ex Lilia. I was like, Lilia? I'm just thinking about it. The three of us, you know, you're you're pregnant and that sort of stuff. Think about the fun things we could do, you know, in bed. And I was like, oh sweetheart, I really don't know. Give me some time to think about it. And yeah, I, it sounds like it's been up for weeks, you know, but uh it feels like it's been weeks, you know. Oh. Like, it feels like it's been weeks. But I was, like, thinking today on the internship, like, maybe I'm gonna do it, but, like, I don't know. When I, like, I was in the train back home, you know. What? Oh. <laughs> From there. It was still the only one. Like, in the train home... I got doubts again, like, should I do it? Did I start a poly relationship with my ex? Which, by the way, uh... Like, by the way, we did uh, we did end on good terms, and we're still good friends. So, and LEF... LEF did, uh, did let me have sex with her once again, when, uh, when I was pregnant. That was so amazing, yeah? Oh, like, a woman knows how to, like, handle a woman. She knows how to like handle a woman. So yeah, I had sex with her on Aliens. I think now that I think back about it. I should have seen it coming. Like I should have seen it coming. Like Ali was like to me, like at least if ever wanna have sex with other girls, like do a trio or something. Uh way, way back when I was like four months, five months, I was like I don't know, like, a trio sounds fun, but I don't know, I don't, never had sex with more than two, like... Like, I never had sex with more than one person at the time, you know, not like two, and that sort of stuff. And he was like, well, if you want, if you want, you can have sex with your old ex, with your ex, again. I was like, one on what? Like, well, trio, but if she doesn't want, you can have one on one. Like, I don't mind, as long as she keeps loving me. And so I, I I talked to Lilia, and at first it took me a while, like I'm like seven months, twenty nine weeks, like it took me a, a good month before I finally committed, because she was immediately she was immediately yes because she, oh, she was like uh, no buying here this time, like she was immediately yes at least yes at least one on one one on one or we could do it to you what you want, and I was like. Uh, so it took me a month because, you know, this, this is a controversial topic, but like I am pregnant of, of a man, which I dearly love, I really love, but like, but like, yeah, I'm like, doesn't he love me? Maybe I make it too big, and it's like at least you'd be like, at least just do it. Sounds like you want, but you don't. Okay. Yeah. So like, I will like I'm maybe gonna do it, and then I will be in a relationship with my boyfriend Elif and my then old ex, and now we're again girlfriend Lilia, which would be three way. I don't know, like, it still sounds weird to me, like, being in a relationship with three, two people. Like, ever since I said, since I dated those persons who want to pull a relationship. Like, whenever when I did, I, like, I got interested in it, but I was like, I met probably... I would never search for it first, you know? Like, I will never search for it first. If I got a partner or 
which would be like at least I want a poly relationship later or try a uh, try a poly relationship out. I, I said to myself I would like give like accept it, but with like like a bunch of things, hassle, or already cut like with contradictions, because I would probably handle it very well. But uh, like who am I to stand my partner's happiness and luck in the way? Like for example, if we try it out and it's a success and he, he becomes extremely happy even with me and his second girlfriend, then uh, yeah, who am I to deny that? You know? That means I got a girlfriend too, a new girlfriend. But yeah, I talked in this, floor, this episode. Like, I have talked about this thing about having sex with girls and with Elliot. And yeah, I had sex with Lilia. Like, go back to the sex with Lilia. I had sex with Lilia when I was six months pregnant because Elliot allowed it. And we basically, uh, we took a range and she enjoyed it so much. Uh, oh. and I think it didn't came for a long time. I think I didn't came so much for a long time in the ages, so. <laughs> the said, the woman knows how to handle a woman. But, uh, I upped her today, like, like, would you be interested in a poly relationship with me and Elif? So, you know, that you have a pregnant girlfriend and a boyfriend. Like a poly relationship with us three. And, oh... Yeah, she immediately responded like, yes, Elise, yes, Elise, yes, Elise. I was like, okay, I know enough. Let me think about it. Like, no hesitate. I think, like, to be honest, like, uh, as I said, I, of course, arranged, like... Like, of course, I... Uh, uh, Ali took a part in the tomb, arranging like uh, the, the sex dates. Like, uh, like I think they've been planning it alongside. I have to think about it. But yeah, like, okay, I will stop about the sex talk. <laughs> like, I think I'm going to like end up in a poly relationship. I mean, you mean like? You mean like? What is the hurt in trying? You know? Like, what would be hurt in for and trying? I mean, I got a girlfriend too, and as Ellie have said. Like as Ali have said, like I won't if I if I don't get any downsides, like I get a girlfriend with it, and I get more like attention and people pleasure me, then why not? So yeah, I think I'm gonna try it. Ali is showering now, so he doesn't know that I'm talking about this. But I'm uh, sorry that I talked about s such a sensitive topic, but I don't know. I just needed to let it off my mind, and I think now that I see it. Like, now that I talked about it, uh, like, now that I talked about it, if Elif gets happy with it, like, like, if Elif gets happy with, like, having an additional girlfriend, and he, and he swears to stay love to me, like, or in love with me, or, he said that, like, if he, if, like, if he gets happy with, like, having a second girlfriend, or an extra girlfriend, you know, and, uh, he, st he keeps loving me, then why why would I say no? Like why 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 would I be like Ellie if you're not allowed to be happy, you know? Babe, you're not allowed to be happy. Sounds weird, but I mean it's never hurt a tie, eh? And 
maybe be, maybe already clicked the thing. If you listen through the whole story, I just say thank you. But sometimes you need to just to let your mind loose, eh? Because yeah, I know it's a controversial topic because not everyone would like poly relationships. But like, I didn't get it off my mind for the whole day. So. And that's why, this, that's why content creation life is also so awesome, sometimes. What flashbang? Ah! You just rushed through. So uh, yeah, I did, like, if you, like, be like, Elise, what the fuck, you're pregnant? The boyfriend and he wants to pull a relationship? I should be sus? Yeah, I know, but... What's hurt and trying? I'm gonna try, I think I'm gonna tell Ali later. I'll keep you up to date in the next video, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna lose a lot of viewers, be like, you're a trans girl who's pregnant. Like, at least you're a pregnant trans girl. And now who goes into a poly relationship while she's pregnant with her with her, with her boyfriend. Yeah. But like like I said, ever since I dated people who wanted a poly relationship or had like a subject on poly that I wanted like uh, have multiple girlfriends or try out being a poly in a poly relationship. I never said like I first never agreed, but now that I'm pregnant and probably full of hormones, because uh, that's what pregnancy do with does with you. I uh, I probably be like you know what is the hurt of tying like as I said like. Yeah, it's gonna be weird and maybe have issues with it in the beginning. But if my boyfriend gets happy with it and he keeps loving me and takes care of the children after like I'm got pregnant, not that like this is becoming a dumping point, then I will be so sad. Though. But yeah. I was her trying. Like what would be her trying? So, like I said, I talked enough, enough about enough about having sex with Lilia, my boyfriend, and that sort of stuff. Uh, I think I keep it like I keep you up to date the next video. It gives it gives a good topic to uh, to talk about next video. Oh. Also, not an RPG here. I need to focus a bit. Hey, more intel. But yeah, like, what about with her tying? Like, I leave for Shavani now, but Lilia has also been like here the past few weeks. And she stays here a couple of weeks. Alif is actually showering. Like Alif is showering and then it's gonna go again. Because he had an issue with his parents. He had still yet has to explain. So he's like showering and then goes to drive. And goes to his mother and father. Which he will explain. Oh, sorry guys. Like, uh, he will explain it to me like next week, he said. But Lilia is staying to take, like, Esme staying the past. Like, Lilia has been staying the next, uh, like, the past week and will stay in, like, the upcoming week. And. So, I mean, I really do some funny things with my girlfriend and for my new girlfriend. Old uh, oh, new girlfriend. But yeah, would you go into a poly relationship if you got? I wanna know, like, I've been talking for like the past 25 minutes about sex, poly relationship, and gender stuff. But would you? I think I'm gonna do it. Like, I'm gonna say to Elliot before you leave that he's now has two girlfriends. Because Lily already agreed. So.
Like Lily already said yes, so. Oh yeah, I'll keep you up to date in the next video. But would you go into a poly relationship? I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have such great future galore. Like Elise is pregnant, got a boyfriend, an old girlfriend who now is her girlfriend again. So yeah. Next mission is gonna be a fun one. I'm gonna explain it after the intro for it. Makarov's tracked Vorshevsky's daughter to Berlin. If they find the girl, it's only a matter of time till he gives up the nuclear codes. Do we have her exact location? Triangulating now. ISA cell phone snipers just intercepted a call from her. Passing you through in three, two, one. Alana Vorshevsky? <laughs> American Special Forces, do you speak English? <laughs> yes, my security is dead. They're coming for me. Stay calm, we're en route to you now. Where are you exactly? Closet, fifth floor suite. Which side? I, I don't know. There's a building across the road. A sign on the roof says Riesdorf. Please hurry. Okay, put the phone down and don't move. We'll come to you. Athena is still with us. Weapons tight and don't throw any shots. Yeah, I keep you up to date the next video and tells you how the story went out. I normally re record these like a week, uh, week uh, apart. So, but uh, before I go. For your technical girl, I have a funny story to tell about this mission, which I will repeat in the next mission, in the next video, but uh, back when I started doing Modern Warfare 2 feathering campaigns on Twitch and Modern Warfare 3 feathering campaigns on Twitch, I did it with the idea of, as a kid, uh, like as a kid, I took like 50 minutes to uh, complete a mission. So if I take like two missions or three, then I have like a full stream and I have like a streaming thing. But then I started doing Modern Warfare 2 and uh yeah it went really quick like 10 minutes 20 minutes 10 minutes tw 20 minutes so yeah it went really quick and then modern warfare 3 came around 10 minutes again 15 minutes 20 minutes so i spared her through the mission until this one came this one was the first in the whole modern warfare series that took longer than 30 minutes longer than 45 minutes because it took 15 minutes back on stream so yeah, I will repeat this in the next stream again. So I was like, that is the goal. I was hoping to form it as Modern Warfare 3 Fatal Campaign series. And that's such a long time ago. Huh? So I'm all now pregnant, about to enter a poly relationship. But yeah, uh, if you're new around here and don't know who I am, I'm known as Hudson Elise, or Hudson Juji, a pregnant trans girl on the internet, who apparently is now is going into a poly relationship, but that private stuff, lore stuff. Huh? Because I'm your pregnant trans girl, as you can see. One thing is for sure, as I told you. Baby belly doesn't lie. So I'm your pregnant trans girl, pregnant VTuber, pregnant anime girl, however you want to call me, because apparently this translates to uh, this. So this is how people see me normally in real life. So I don't know. I it happens, I guess. But uh, I'm your pregnant trans girl, Elise, or I'm called Elise, or Hudson Juju on the internet, Hudson Elise on the internet, your pregnant trans girl, anime girl, VTuber girl, however you want to call me. However, you call it in your, in your guys and girls world form. Like, like I said, one thing for sure. One thing is for sure. I'm pregnant. As you can see. Uh, if you're new around here and don't know who I am. Or don't know what I do on this channel. Because now you know who I am. <laughs> Pray for them. Uh, I primarily focus on Project Diva Horror. If you're interested, make sure to check out for uh, Horror. The three scary game playlists on my channel for Project Eve. There are several Hatsune Miku playlists on my channel, each its own separate thing, like Extreme Perfects, Extra Extreme Perfects. Uh, because I do look like Sakai Miku, I know. But that happens when you travel Sakai's and get your own Wonderland Sakai dress. Wonderhoi! So yeah. Uh, but I do also a lot of other stuff on my channel, for example, like that Motor War or Call of Duty Veteran Campaign series. If you want to see World at War, Black Ops. Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, and Call of Duty Ghost. Make sure to check the eye corner in the top right. Those will be included there. Uh, keep an eye on my socials. Why do I say this? Because uh, I'm gonna plan in soon. When this video releases, I'm gonna plan in soon uh, the Black Ops 2 Phantom campaign series. I wanna do that on Twitch. 
I don't know yet if this will return on Twitch. Maybe I do it, maybe I don't. Because I normally record them, edit them afterwards, to record them, you know. That sort of stuff. So expect to keep an eye on my socials for when this video releases uh, for the Black Ops 2. Because that's going to be streamed on Twitch. And maybe I do Advanced Warfare offline then. I don't know, but that will happen in 2024. Uh, yeah, but if you wanted to see what I do more for Let's Plays, make sure to check out the Let's Play playlist on my channel. So Playlist full of content I've done over the past few years. There should be in there some TV from uh, when I started streaming and started as the girl uh, that I was the, back then to the pregnant girl I am today because apparently I got pregnant. I don't know, you tell me. Uh, but yeah, with that, I'm going to say have, I hope you have a wonderful day. Oh yeah, if you want to support me more besides subscribing and ringing the notification bell, there is a public Discord link down below. If you want to join that, you get better updates, access to, uh, to talk to me and all sorts of other stuff. And of course, you can be a part of the community. If you want to support me, if I said you more, because I said public Discord, there is a private Discord for Patreon subscribers and Twitch subscribers. You get like a whole lot of backup goodies, uh, which one of them is access to the private Discord. One of them is like a pregnancy journey, pregnancy toss, because I do drop my toss from random times in videos or on Patreon, not on Twitch. Uh, let me double check if I have a new Patreon or not. So uh, if you want access to that, then yeah, make sure to check out the Patreon link at the at the, at the bottom of the video description, besides all my other socials. Uh, and maybe get a shout out like Sully and Kay. Uh, still thank you for being my only Patreon members today and making this a uh, good little hobby to do. I try to keep making videos as long as I can while being pregnant. And yeah, with that I'm gonna say have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in the next video because this Echo Girl is gonna head out. Bye. Bye.